Okay, thanks Charles. I'll be very brief. I know that I'm standing between you and the bar. So, you know, that's a tenuous place to be. And uh, so I've got a 30 second talk, I've got a five minute talk, and I have an hour talk. I'll, I'll start on the 30 second talk. Really, <clears throat> what I'm, what I'm, uh, I'm, look, I'm talking about some of the future of uh, DPA. And uh, part of it is we're looking more into being the uh, kind of the program geology group, a prospect group uh, within DPA. So I want to start out talking about DPA here. Um, th this, is, oh, this is my slide about joining DPA. It's, uh, <clears throat> when I look at DPA, it's, or this slide, it's, uh, that's not my job. That's what I always think of. You know, it's not my job to move the armadillo. But the, um, with DPA, we do think it's our job. And uh, uh, it's all about people. It's about professionalism. It's about, uh, and it's like I say, we're, we're moving more, we're evolving more into petroleum geology. And uh, we're, we're a group that gets, that gets things done. So, uh, unconventional resource plays are tough. You know, it's a, uh, as uh, our, our keynote speaker talked today, especially oil plays. You know, I always like to, the, the, you can see the optimist and the pessimist with this. The, uh, uh, the pessimists are the ones who were really hoping that the Mayan calendar would solve the physical cliff problem. So it's a, uh, but it's, uh, I, I tend to be an optimist. I think most of uh, oil finders are optimists. As many speakers said today, you have to do that. But, you know, now we're, we're looking at, you know, shale, carbonates, uh, sandstones, mixed lithologies, so all of the above. And we're also uh, looking at in, in situ, uh, Ted always says in situ, I know that's wrong, but versus migration. I mean, uh, most of these are in situ plays that have been developed so far, but now we're looking into really like the Mississippian is more of a migration play, and there's a number of these. So how are they defined? And the whole point I'm trying to make is, Good yield uh, information is really critical. So here are our resources. What GeoScout is about is a new wiki we're proposing. And the wiki is going to uh, try to use the resources that we have to uh, build a site where you can go in and get good information on these unconventional plays. Uh, at, you know, it's, it's, it's not information you couldn't get yourself for the most part, but it's more a collection of uh, uh, data uh, on plays and so on, especially good geo information. And we do that, of course, we have the people uh, to do it. A lot of our counselors were asking to do this. Uh, we have great access to references and then and, and information. And this is uh, the APG Foundation Library. Now, who, how many people know that you can access, if you're a member of APG, or not a member, you can access the uh, library? Well, that's pretty good. I like to take statistics. I, you'll, I'll probably take some more. My favorite statistic is if, if you uh, lay all the politicians end to end around the world, that two thirds of them would drown. Um, but the uh, Karen Picknew is the uh, librarian for uh, you know for that, and she's amazing. And the resources, if you can see on this list, the resources that she has at her disposal are amazing. And you can go to her and ask her for these references, and she's agreed to help us build these reference lists uh, of publications and so on um, for the, uh, the various plays. The, uh, so here are our sources. Of course, uh, ABG data pages is a great source. We have a lot of information in that. Search and discovery is incredible. You know, you can uh, get, it, it has a lot of the most up-to-date information on there. And uh, then we have uh, access to sister society pubs, university research, uh, you know, the state surveys, federal projects, industry web-based info, individual work product. So a lot of, the, you know, these all the above are things that we plan to build into this system. And so, for example, with the Mid-Continent uh, resources, the Granite Wash, uh, my company's been involved in that. You can go search for Granite Wash and just the archives and pick up some really, this is a good article by uh, John Mitchell that talks about that. And so these are the type of things that we're going to put together. But we'll, it'll mainly be, uh, like say, a wiki with a real good reference database. That's the concept. Uh, the Cleveland Marmoton, um, BEG, you know, you search, this is actually search and discovery. So you go in and search on that and uh, you come up with uh, Heinz and Ambrose stuff which is just fantastic things that the BEG has put together. Of course, you can go on their site, but we're talking about putting collections together. Um, and, and this is some other thing. I love this article by Lupo and Kristenik, our uh, president-elect, 
uh, talks about the Cleveland uh, on the, on the uh, Nemaha uplift. Uh, Mississippi, of course, hot topic. Um, OSU is doing a consortium right now. And a lot of these consortiums, we've, I've asked a lot of the things the university has, they are open to the public. Uh, it's, they're not all that easy to get the public information. And so I, like I asked them to give us some information just that they could share. Now, a lot of this stuff is, is proprietary to the, to the consortium, but some of it is not. And uh, this is an example of, uh, Jim Puckett gave me, a professor at Oklahoma State. But they have this consortium going. And so we're, we're going to uh, be able to access quite a bit of information. Woodford Meisner, this is again search and discovery, and uh, I don't know who these guys are, but this is just to show you, I, I found this interesting early on when we first put this together in the 90s, <clears throat> we started talking about the various um, sequences. This is, we were one of the first ones to really talk about the sequence stratigraphy of the Woodford, and now I see, of course, that's a big thing. Uh, this is from Romeo and Phillips in 2012, and uh, about the Woodford Shale. Uh, industry information. You know, the, all of you looked on their websites. This is actually Herb Martin agreed to give a talk at TGS. So we're getting talks from the various societies that may not make it into the system. And, um, and there's just Google searches. I mean, those are other parts of it. So if you want to look at uh, hunt and dewatering, there's some fantastic stuff. Uh, Eagle has some incredible diagrams. And I didn't show them because uh, I have to get permission. But we will have... You know, we, it's, part of it's an annotation of the best resources out there that uh, to uh, to go to on this whole wiki concept. So, we are looking for uh, volunteers, and uh, of course, we're going to ask a lot of our counselors to help with this. But you don't necessarily have to be a, a DPA uh, member to help with the wiki. But we are going to, uh, if you volunteer, we're going to sure try to make you a, a member. And in fact, uh, most of you that are in, are in here probably uh, have the experience to join DPA. So, um, are you a, if you're a DPA member, raise your hand, if you would. So, okay, so if you look at those hands raised, all you have to do is go to them and say, I'd like to join. And uh, they'll tell you how, how to do it. So, um, that's all I have, Charles. Thank you very much.